Hello friends! I'm so excited to share this compilation of my favorite 15 spring crafts from my channel. I know there are so many who are at home right now, so I wanted to put this compilation together to help you stay positive and stay creative with your time at home. I know you're going to love these, so let's get going with the first craft which is this gorgeous butterfly mirror. I found these awesome paper butterflies on Amazon. They came in so many gorgeous colors. This 12 inch round mirror was from Michaels. I picked up some Gorilla Glue spray paint and a mirror hook, and the total for supplies was only $30. We're making a copycat of a mirror that I saw at Neiman Marcus for $550, so keep watching to see the comparison at the end of this first craft.
I think this came out pretty good and looks very similar for only $30. Okay, if you liked that copycat, I have another one for you. I liked a floral arrangement I saw at Pier 1, but it was $50. We are going to make it with some Dollar Tree finds for only $6.
And here is the final comparison of mine with the Pier 1 version. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. So are you liking these copycat crafts? Because I love them and I have another one for you. I think this one was from something I saw at Nordstrom a couple years ago and it sold for $40, but I made it for half the price. These fat quarters of fabric can be found at Walmart along with the other supplies. I don't have a sewing machine, so we are going to use the no sew version to make this cute little pillow. First, I measured everything out. And I will make sure to link the full videos for each of these projects in case you have a creative spark to try one of these fun DIYs and you wanna refer back to that specific project. All the video links will be in the description box below. I also have a blog, artsycupcake.com, and it has a search bar in case you wanna look up any of these projects over there. So I'm freehanding the bunny shape here, but I did create a template that you can download on my blog if you need it.
This no sew tape is awesome. I put the whole pillow together with this stuff. I did use a needle and thread though to get the cute little tassel edging on there. So here is a rundown of the costs for this project. And then here is mine against the Nordstrom version. Next we are going to make a super easy and fun ombre flower wall art. These florals are from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has the best fake flowers for the price. If you have never shopped there for them, then you definitely are missing out and need to check out their floral section. I picked up these canvases from Michaels. And then you need some scissors and your trusty glue gun. But mine is not so trusty because my thumb was hurting pretty bad after this project. I think I have had this glue gun since high school. I'm not joking. So yes, it is probably time for a new glue gun. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being my new friend here. My name is Maria and I love sharing ways to be creative in your life. Even if you aren't a graphic designer like me, being creative is not hard when you approach it the right way. I want everyone to feel empowered by their own unique creativity. Taking the time to be creative is a form of self-care and that is why I share creative inspiration like home DIYs, creative cupcakes, and fashion ideas. Please consider hitting that subscribe button if you want new creative ideas every week from my channel.
So here is the finished floral wall art. It was only $14.50 with those Dollar Tree florals. Next up would be a perfect gift for Mother's Day or just a gift to yourself for some springtime bath time. We are going to make all the goodies inside. First up is the bar soap. There is a blog post on artsycupcake.com if you want to refer back to these recipes. Hey, if you're liking this video, please hit that thumbs up button so I know that you like this type of content and I can make more of these types of videos for you.
I think Dollar Tree still has those silver containers and they always have those great florals to choose from. This would make such an elegant, customized gift for mom. Another gift idea, cupcake bath bombs. Aren't these the cutest? Like the spa basket, I have the full recipe and some printable labels for these on my blog. So it isn't any secret that my favorite food of all time is cupcakes. These aren't edible, but they still make me happy. <laughs> so if you are a cupcake lover, these can make you happy too.
All right, let's move on to a few pom-pom crafts. When I think of spring, I think of pom-poms for some reason. And these next three were made with this big bag of colorful pom-poms that I found on Amazon. First, I'll show you how to make a pom-pom tree. Now we're gonna go on to some pom-pom garland. I love how this looks on the fireplace. And the last pom-pom craft is a little floral arrangement. This one would be so fun for kids to help put together.
craft number 10 are these little bunny pom-poms. I found all of these supplies at Dollar Tree, so this is a really inexpensive DIY. The wire needs to be thin for flexibility and to hide it when we wrap it around the pom-poms. But I did want some thickness under the ribbon, so I used some masking tape to thicken up the areas where we will be wrapping the ribbon. Next, we will be making this cute spoon rest. I sketched out the design to make sure I liked how the bunny design would look. These oil-based paint markers are water resistant and they can be baked on ceramic and glass to be dishwasher safe. This is a plastic spoon rest that I found at Dollar Tree, so we will not be baking this, but we'll be really careful when we hand wash it to make sure that it doesn't rub off any of the markers. These large pom-poms were another Amazon find and that bunny came from the Dollar Tree. I traced out the shape I wanted for the wreath and then I arranged the pom-poms around the cardboard donut. Don't forget to subscribe if you're liking this video because it really helps my channel out. And if you like home DIYs like this one, then you will like all of the creative ideas I have coming your way. A little hot glue on the elastic part of the pom-poms and they stuck on there really nicely.
I stuck on that pretty bow and the little bunny and now we have an elegant little wreath for just a few dollars. This would look great all through spring. This one is so easy but so adorable. I saw a bunny bowl at Pottery Barn and wanted to make my own version for less money. I found this ceramic painting kit at Dollar Tree. This was meant to be hung up so I removed the hook and filled it with wood filler and then sanded it down. A little white spray paint on the bunny to make it match the ceramic bowl that I found at Dollar Tree. And you have a $2 craft all ready for spring. Next we will be making an egg shaped wine stopper. This one is super cheap too because we are using an egg ceramic painting kit from Dollar Tree. And you could use the bunny one if you wanted. They had all different shapes. I was inspired by some wine stoppers I saw at Pier 1 and wanted to make my own version for less money. I used those handy ceramic paint markers and made this super cheerful egg. You can bake this to really seal on those paints and make it dishwasher safe. I noticed after I baked this that it did darken the colors a little bit, but at least we won't have to worry about wine spills. A little Gorilla Glue and a cork and you have a festive little wine stopper. I was wearing an ombre sweater and it got me thinking that I should make an ombre bunny sign for spring. I used a whitewashed wood plank from Walmart and some acrylic paints to get the look I was going for. I mixed up just the right shades of pastels and used a foam brush with a little water in the places that I wanted the colors to really blend together.
Filling in the bunny last means you can fix any mistakes that you made at the end. I did have trouble deciding which bunny tail to use because the colors all went really nicely, but I ended up going with white because I felt like there were so many other colors on this piece that the white just looked really neutral and pretty. I just love how this cheers up my kitchen. Now you have 15 ideas to get your craft on. If you want to see more details on these crafts, then I have a playlist with all the full videos right over here and also a subscribe button so you can know when new videos go up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very happy day. Thank you.